going that little extra for a play. One more rep at the gym. Set after set on the court. This is life at the Olympic level. And it's unbelievable that an experience like an Olympics can make a lifetime of training worth it. From Steinbach, a small town just outside of Winnipeg, Michelle Sawatsky is Team Canada's first string setter. But volleyball isn't her only passion. Grinding it out in front of the net might seem a world away from the demands in front of a mic, but for Sawatsky, they're one and the same. In fact, she credits her sports success to 21 years of piano and voice training. To be the best in, in an elite sport, you need to practice and you need to train and you need to work as hard as you can. And in music, it's the same thing, you know? You need to get in that practice room, sit at the piano and practice for five, six hours a day if you want to be the best. Sawatsky was told she'd never play international ball because of her height. At 5'6", one of the smallest setters in the world, she overcame her size with speed and determination. I think Michelle's about perseverance and about, uh, and about commitment uh, and about fighting spirit. And I think it, it parallels our team somewhat because our team is very similar to that. It's all over! Canada's going to the Olympic Games! The team isn't setting its sights on an Olympic medal. The players got their gold when they qualified for Atlanta. I can only imagine how wonderful it's going to be. Um, but yeah, Olympics will be, I think, the pinnacle of my career, something I'll for sure remember for the rest of my life. Sawatsky sings and writes her own music. After the Olympics, she'll put aside her gym bag and go back to the keyboard, grateful for achieving in 25 years what most don't reach in a lifetime. You forget all those hours, you know, and all the times you didn't see your friends and all the times you didn't go for coffee because I was in the practice room and I was in the gym, you know, for all, all my hours. And, but that's a choice I made. And now, and now it all, it, it's all paying off for me. Joni Niccolo, Global News, Winnipeg. Yeah,